Welcome to Defense News Plus. Boeing on Thursday delivered the 10th PATI anti submarine warfare aircraft to the Navy. The remaining two is supposed to be delivered in the last quarter of this year. The aircraft is an integral part of the Indian Navy fleet and completed 30,000 flight hours since its induction in 2013. The Defense Acquisition Council granted the procurement of six aircraft in November 2019. The number was reduced from 10 aircraft to 6 aircraft due to budgetary constraints. The Navy had purchased 8 PATI aircrafts under a $2.2 billion deal in 2009. The aircraft are part of the 312A Naval Air Squadron based at Arakkonam in Tamil Nadu. The Navy headed for four more PATI aircrafts worth of over $1 billion in 2016. The Navy has deployed PATI for humanitarian assistance and disaster relief missions. Next update, the Indian Air Force will get a major boost along the line of actual control in the Northeast as the 2nd Rafale Aircraft Squadron will be operational by 26th July. The Rafale aircraft would be flying from the Hashimara Air Base in next few days. The 101 Squadron would be mainly responsible for looking after the Eastern Frontier India-China border in Hashimara Air Base. The Air Force has got around 25 Rafale aircraft till now, and more are likely to be supplied in the next coming months. The twin-engine Rafale jets can accomplish a variety of missions of ground and sea attack, air defense and air superiority, reconnaissance and nuclear strike deterrence. The aircraft have been inducted for air patrols along the Eastern Front with China and the second squadron will be stationed in the Hasimara in the Eastern Sector. Next update, Maldivian Navy and Indian Navy conducted the fourth edition of Ekatha exercise. Maldives stated that it is India and not China which will serve as the net security provider of Maldives. In a meeting with Vice Admiral Anil Kumar Chawla and the Maldives Foreign Affairs Minister Abdullah Shahid highlighted the agenda on historically strong bilateral relations between the two countries, particularly in the field of defense and security cooperation and emerging security threats. They have discussed focusing on maritime safety and security in the Indian Ocean. Navy's elite Marine Commandos Unit Marcos have conducted joint exercise with Maldives National Defense Force Marines and increasing the interoperability of the Army. Vice Admiral Anil Kumar Chawla made a courtesy call on Maldives Defense Minister Maria Didi at the end of the exercise Ekatha, undertaking the exclusive economic zone surveillance and towards training of the Maldives National Defense Force personnel. Maldives Chief of Defense Force Major General Abdullah Shamal stressed upon increasing maritime security cooperation and other fields of military cooperation in the meeting with the top Indian Navy officer. Next update, Sergei Shemezov head of Rostec said that we are testing unmanned technologies on the machine. It is mainly used as a crew-driven vehicle. He had said, if we talk about the Armata, then everything will be as automated as possible. For example, the crew of the Armata does not need to aim precisely. It is only necessary to approximately aim the gun at the target. This machine uses elements of artificial intelligence that help the crew to fire. Again, the operator only needs to indicate the direction to the target. Then everything is done independently. Russia will begin serial production of the T-14 Armata next year. Ural Bhag Zabo, the Russian company indicated of developing T-14 unmanned Armata tank in August last year during the International Military Technical Forum Army 2020 in Moscow. Vladimir Artyakov, first deputy general director of Rostec, said the Armata tank was originally designed as a crew-driven vehicle, but the level of modern technology today makes it possible to target it into an unmanned vehicle. We have carried out the appropriate test and they were successful. Next update, Russia has been pitching to sell the MiG-35 for India's 126 fighter jets contract more than a decade ago. Russia has been offering the MiG-35 and Sukhoi Su-35 for the Indian Air Force standard of 114 fighter aircraft worth of around $15 billion. Just a week before Russia's largest aerospace expo, International Aviation and Space Salon started, it is speculated that Russia is going to offer a new fighter to India. Russia's United Aircraft Corporation on Tuesday issued a video of the new fighter. 
the video appears to show pilots in four nations the united arab emirates india vietnam and argentina waiting for the new aircraft the indian pilot is seen playing chess when he gets a text message saying it's coming the aircraft's layout is shown only twice in the 35 second video. It is likely to be a single engine exhaust and a lightweight single engine fighter jet. United Aircraft Corporation announced it would present a fundamentally new military aircraft on 20th July. The new fighter could be the Russian counter to the USS F-35 project, which has been manufactured in partnership with the Britain, Australia, Italy and Israel. That's it for today. If you like our work then please hit the like button, share this video and do subscribe this channel to get the notification of the next video. Thank you.